Hi everyone, welcome to the Schoenberg Database. This is Emma Caulfield, I'm the project coordinator. In this video, we're gonna look at the manuscript record. If you haven't watched the previous two tutorials about adding a new entry and using the linking tool, please watch those first so you know what's going on. <laughs> Uh, so here we are on my dashboard. You'll recognize this entry. This is the one we created in the first video. And now you'll see a link to its manuscript record, which we created via the linking tool in the last video. So let's click on this link. And here we are at the manuscript record. There's three basic sections here. We have the associated titles. This is aggregated from the entries that are linked together. This is the most recently observed location. Keep in mind that this will change at any time if we get more current data. And then we have the associated entries with their provenance data displayed down here. There's many ways you can interact with this manuscript record. If you need to compare the data of the two entries, at a deeper level, you can switch to the table view. And here you'll see the two entries side by side with all of their data fields next to each other. This is great for easy comparison work. So we'll go back up here to switch back to the initial view. Click this button to generate a citation for this manuscript record. If you go down here, you can give us a thumbs up or thumbs down if you think that the entry should or shouldn't be a part of this manuscript record. If you have even more information about this manuscript, like you've examined it firsthand or you've done a lot of research on it and you have information you need to share, you should create a personal observation. And I'm going to go over that step in the next video. Thanks for watching.